In 2018, I uploaded my very first video to YouTube, and ever since I have been uploading steadily for the past 6 years. I've tried to make different kinds of content, making more than 1,100 videos in total, spending on average about the same amount of time as a full-time worker. This video is a bit of a rant, but mostly it's a video for those who are either struggling on YouTube trying to make it, or considering making a channel and starting their own YouTube journey. I think it's important that I share my experience with other people. Perhaps you are a YouTuber who is struggling like I am, or perhaps you are considering making a channel and starting your own YouTube journey. In any case, throughout the six years of making content, my channel has reached over 8,000 subscribers and it has had 1.6 million views. Still, in the entire lifetime of the channel, it has generated $2,345 in total, with about a monthly payment lately being about $50 to $70 before tax. If you split the channel lifetime earnings between all the videos on the channel, I have gotten an average of about $2 per video, each of which has had many hours put into the making of them. One of the big problems with YouTube today is the fact that there are just too many content creators, especially in the gaming category. It is near impossible to make unique and original content nowadays, and if you do manage to make something original, it either becomes unoriginal very fast, as a lot of people will copy your content, or it won't become original at all because it just doesn't get noticed in the crowd. This has happened to a lot of trends like 100 Days, Minecraft Hardcore, Minecraft Manhunt, and way before that when slime was the main thing on the platform as well as fidget spinners. It's amazing and super awesome at the beginning, but as it is with most such things, the market eventually becomes saturated and on YouTube that can happen really fast. Another big problem is the fact that many channels has a team of editors, thumbnail makers, and in some cases researchers, which makes it really difficult for smaller creators to compete. Many people simply don't have the resources to pay for any of that. To make a Minecraft hardcore video today takes some creators over 80 hours of work, which is an impossible task in the long run for a single person, especially if you do not get paid anything. I personally believe that YouTube as a platform has perhaps reached its peak. Another big problem, and this is a bit difficult to talk about, is how low some people are willing to go in order to get attention, making exaggerated faces with big open mouths, screaming into the microphone to get attention. I trapped a hundred YouTubers. I gathered 1,000 subscribers. What happens when your entire Minecraft world? I survived 1,000 days. Exaggerated reactions to things happening in the game or the situations which they are recording. Furthermore, adding tons of pop-up text in the video, all created to just keep the viewer engaged. Of course, some do this more than others, and thankfully not everyone is doing it. It's very similar to clickbait and it makes it difficult to enter the scene when you don't want to be part of any of that. Last but not least is the continuous problems with the YouTube algorithm. One day your video might get promoted on the home page for a lot of people and you see a big spike in video performance. Happy that you might start getting noticed, you upload the next video on the exact same day and time the week after, hoping to catch that same spike again just to see that it was a one-time thing, or maybe it happens again, but not in any predictable pattern. This makes it really difficult to keep focus, stay motivated, and believe in your videos because you never know if it will get a thousand views or just a couple hundred, if even that, especially if it's a video that you spend maybe a month to make. The uncertainty of the algorithm and what it may or may not do next is making it very difficult. Now I know that all of this is what the YouTube as a platform has evolved into, and it is what it is. If you have the time, the resources, and the willingness to do all of this, then go for it, and I truly do hope that you succeed. And I know that some of you might be thinking, oh, but just make the content you know people want to watch, and then you're on the right track. But it's just not that simple. It's a very big gamble. And this part is actually very important to address. You're not just going to lose time making videos that don't make it on YouTube. You're going to invest years of your life into a platform that perhaps will not pay you anything. That's years that could have been spent on perhaps more fruitful pursuits. I know that it is still possible to make it on YouTube. It really is, and it's a dream come true for many. And this is not a the grass is always green on the other side thing, but we only see all the success stories on YouTube. Those are the stories that get promoted, sponsored, etc. We never see the small channels that has been struggling on the platform for 10 plus years, barely making any progress, even though they have tried just about everything. I wish everyone the best on their YouTube journey, and I really do hope that you make it. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.